The mask debate is once again top of mind as kids go back to school. The CDC, Kentucky Department of Public Health, and the Education Commissioner have all made recommendations, but unlike last year, school year, there are no mandates. Rose McBride is bringing us up to date on decisions made by the local school districts when it comes to wearing a mask. The first day of school is less than two weeks away in Hardin County. Today, district leaders answered some parent questions about the school year, and they overwhelmingly had the same question. We had 57 questions that, that were asked uh, of us. 55 of them were about masks. Superintendent Terry Morgan announced masks are recommended, but not required for students and staff in school buildings. What we are going to ask is everyone is to be respectful of each person's choice to wear a mask or to not wear a mask. And that is the way we are going to start the school year um, as of July 30th. That's the guidance many districts have given out, including Shelby, Oldham, Greater Clark, New Albany, Floyd County, and as of today, the Archdiocese of Louisville. The JCPS board made a different decision this week, making masks mandatory for the district's 96,000 students. Today, Kentucky Education Commissioner Dr. Jason Glass spoke at a conference for the Kentucky Association of School Administrators. He said whatever districts choose to do will be a risk, whether they mandate masks or not. If you do that, and then nothing happens, well then the risk is that people in your community will say that you overreacted and that you made them do things that weren't necessary. So that's a risk that we have to calculate. Another risk is that you don't put in place the necessary mitigation strategies to keep your schools safe. And then something does happen. Many districts have chosen what they will do when school starts, but with guidance constantly changing, so too could their plans. This information that we're sharing with you is as of July 30 at 12.08 p.m. Uh, could it change tomorrow? Absolutely. Could it change this afternoon? Absolutely. Could it change by the time school starts? Absolutely. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride. And today we checked in with Shelby County. The district is keeping its mask policy the same after recently updating its plan earlier this month. Masks for students and staff across the district will be required on school buses in Shelby County, but not for indoors. The school district says it supports the previous CDC guidance for unvaccinated people wearing masks and says it's up to parents if they want that for their child. The Shelby County Superintendent says they're listening to the CDC and local health officials and are watching the numbers closely. We're looking at things daily, and as we saw last year, there were many times we had to make a decision uh, based on the most current data, and we will do that when it's necessary. She says all students will still have a virtual option this school year throughout the Shelby County District to uh, cultivate program. Students have the sign up, have, and must sign up and also have to be highly motivated, organized, and proactive in order to be considered for that program. Over 80 students are enrolled in it so far.